So as you saw from the title, I went to another YVR Bloggers event. This particular event focused on uh, marketing your blog using social media and SEOs. I went with my girlfriend, Grace Lanuza, who is wicked awesome marketing maven. She is also a entrepreneur and is a fashion blogger. I am pretty sure at this point her name has been emblazoned across the screen and you can totally watch her for her blogs and her posts. She's super cool and we are going to be doing some more fun things together which I shall reveal over the course of this little blog post. So the second ever YVR Bloggers event took place on Wednesday the 11th of December. It was held at the beautiful Waterfall Building on West 2nd Avenue and hosted by Rick Shetty, our daddy blogger. I'm pretty sure that just showed up on the screen right there. And we had several panelists that sat in and uh, offered their expertise on marketing your blog for maximum optimization with search engines as well as um, social media. Watch for your screen because their names are going to scroll right past. So we had uh, Bonnie Sainsbury from Social Media Smarter, Bosco Anthony, who is Bosco Anthony, our business blogger. We also had Christian Thompson from Marwick Marketing, Christine Nielsen from Ms. Pixel, who does all the graphic design for this YVR Bloggers website, Chuck Anderson from Blissful Parenting, CJ Dipperdine, web catch coach, Emily Chow from Chow Communications, and Keith Kidwell from NetSurf Marketing. I gotta say, I have to admit this. I know what social media is, you know, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Tumblr, Flickr, Pinterest, you know, all that jazz. But I didn't know what SEO stood for. I just went along to the event and kind of stumbled in blindly yet again. We got deeper into the discussion. Oh, I better really quickly Google and find out what SEO stands for. So Search Engine Optimization, SEO, is basically a mechanism, tools, techniques, a methodology so that your website will receive the most amount of traffic possible by means of how your website is ranked on various search engines you know, like Yahoo, Yahoo, Google, Bing. So in other words, if I'm going to Google, you know, bakeries, I type in bakeries in Vancouver, click, and then I'm going to have a whole list of bakeries show up on these search engine pages. Now, having an SEO would allow for you to come up hopefully on a higher ranking, if you know how to maximize this properly, if you know how to use search engine optimization to full advantage, then you would show up on the first page of these searches and then therefore you would attract more business, have more traffic go to your website, and of course SEO is being maximized. These search engines like Google, Yahoo, will find your company right off the bat. You'll end up on page one instead of page four, five, or seventeen, or a hundred, whatever. So the panelists offered their pearls of wisdom, their expertise, their advice on how to use social media and SEO. What can I say? It was cool. I never thought about it. I just started a vlog because I wanted to have an online journal for myself. And I thought that if I posted out there, it would make me accountable and also keep me vlogging. It's now about content in context using keywords. And if you can master all that, then you may maximize eyeball traffic. And may the force be with you. Each panelist couldn't stress enough how important it is to focus on your analytics. Okay. <laughs> And again, analytics, just the trends of people visiting and following your blog or vlog and reading and sticking on board and even subscribing to you. We also had some lovely entertainment, a jazz singer singing Santa Baby. And there was also some great advice given by a few other prominent bloggers in the community. 
uh, Lisa Corriveau, who is the spokesmama. Also Lisa Frobes from Town Hall Brands, who spoke on media kits, how to package your your blog, and that's a completely different topic altogether. Let me just say, it blew my mind thinking about that, knowing you know about who you are, knowing your stats. networking, having the, the that partnership, the community, which is also what YVR Bloggers is about. It's about bridging the gap from between computer to computer and actually having the community of people come together and you know and form strong bonds. Sometimes it gets lonely in a computer, so. Don't be so lonely. Oh, and of course, the keynote speaker, uh, Mark Estefan from Web Friendly. Uh, it's another media company. He was giving strategies on how to maximize your SEO, you know, in the most economical way possible. Anyway, I don't know if this play-by-play -play works for all of you out there who missed the event, but I will say this. This community is growing because at the beginning of the night, the audience was asked, show of hands, who's brand new to this event? Who's, who's done this before? And there were a ton of hands. So quite a number of the people that showed up to the YVR Bloggers Hoot Up last month may not have necessarily been able to make it last Wednesday. But there was a whole crop of new people that came, which just means that this community is bigger than, than I thought. And words getting out there, and people want people at their computers want to connect with other people, so that's pretty awesome. I didn't get enough time to go around to every booth and have a look, not like last time. I'm not sure how what happened time wise. I ended up staying at a couple booths a little longer and talking. I didn't get a chance to really look at everything. Gracie and I also met a company called Four Cats Art Studio, where they do, you know, splatter art, basically arts and crafts for kids and for groups. So we're hoping that we too will be visiting that location and hopefully recording our experience there. So you, we, we're going to be planning our Christmas event party for our uh, One Asian Success Circle group and the leaders that are involved. So we thought this might be kind of a fun place to go. This does look super cool and I do want to do some creative stuff. I am an actor after all. We're always trying to be creative with things, so yay. And to add to the super awesomeness, Grace and I spoke to a couple of wonderful ladies at a booth for their company, Four Angels Beauty Care, and they offered us some discount cards on uh, services, any services, at their salon. Then we got this crazy bad boy, Yep, that's right. For eyebrow shaping. What up? So Grace and I are going to go and share our experience getting our eyebrows shaped. I'm pretty sure there'll be a follow-up post for that too, I promise as you. As well as a shopping visit to this place here called Zizo, which Grace is absolutely in love with. They use real leather and the craftsmanship's amazing. Gracie's going to probably talk more about this. She's an expert fashionista in this department. So again, the sponsorship at the event did not disappoint. Uh, Cobbs was there. Granola Girl, of course, always representing uh, a few other companies that I'm sure I will list when I open my goodie bag were there, too. Santa was there. I didn't even get a chance to take a photo. Oh, and speak of Granola Girl, there were door prizes. So this time, I came prepared. I had at least some form of business card. I didn't use a bus ticket like last time and wrote my name on it like a nerd. So they drew my name, and I kept seeing, like, oh, these cool prizes are, show are coming up. And I'm like, oh, please, let it be something that I'm going to use. You know, like... I remember once I was in a draw for hockey tickets, and I'm like, oh, well, this was a, I'm a waste of a draw, because I don't watch hockey. Sorry, Vancouver, and, and the rest of Canada. Hope it didn't offend you all. Now, there was a tea set. There was, like, a, like a, a case of tea that I really wanted, but, you know, kudos to the woman who won. I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. But what was super awesome is I got drawn, and I won this! Ah! Oh! It saves me the trouble 
of going out and getting a bag myself. So thank you. I do eat this for breakfast. And if you haven't read or seen my last vlog about the YVR Huda, I cannot impress upon you how delicious this is. Granola girl. <clears throat> yeah, baby. But overall, YVR bloggers, it was a great event. We are going to get bigger. And I had a friend that was there. I didn't know she was even going to be at the event. We both went to, uh, through an, a similar acting program together, same, uh, same school. Her name's Christine Bizanet, and she has a blog called The Positivity Project. Basically, it's her own online journal of looking at life in a positive way and all the challenges that she faces being an actress and just being in her own skin and coming out. And she's an awesome, awesome gal. I'm pretty sure I... Look at the bottom. It should say thepositivityproject.com. Go to it. Read up on it. She's a lovely girl and very insightful. And if you want to figure out how to turn yourself or turn that smile upside... Oh, whoops. And if you want to talk about turning your frowns upside down, read her blog posts. She is very insightful and speaks a lot about personal development and how to look at life in a more positive way. And she even shares her own struggles, which I think is very courageous, very brave. Check her out. So that's it. The event was fun. It was informative, of course. I learned so much stuff, like a lot of it went over my head at first, and then I realized these people know what they're talking about. They've got so much info up the wazoo. And it was a pleasure to listen and also very inspiring to be a part of that community and be in that room with other people who just write about stuff they like and vlog about stuff they like. That's cool. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about who've never been to one of these, if you do like to blog or vlog, you should come out. There's a Facebook page. There's even a website, yvrbloggers.com. Ding! In fact, there's going to be another YVR Bloggers event next month on January 16th. And I urge you to go. Though, I'm not sure if I can go because that falls on my birthday. So who knows what I might be up to. I might be doing birthday things. So stay tuned, there's going to be another part. I still have that swag bag that I got to open and look at all the cool stuff that's in there, some of the deals that we might be getting, even some of the stuff that's, of course, edible, yum, and future other blog posts to come. And that was it. That was the whole experience. I think overall it was another successful event. It was fun. There were great snackies from the sponsors. Very, for the few booths that I did get to see, they were infinitely interesting. In fact, I forgot to mention that uh, Booty Shaper was there, and I had to order myself some of those Booty Shaper holders. Great stocking stuffers, ladies and gentlemen. If the website didn't show up on the screen, it should now. There we go. It's a very welcoming and warm community, this YVR Bloggers group. I mean, I am I just started blogging, but it's nice to feel like I'm a part of something bigger. 